I want to bring in Dr. Perry Wilson, an associate professor of medicine at Yale University of Medicine. Dr. Wilson, good morning. Tell us what vasculitis is and how serious is it? Sure. Um, what vasculitis is, is any condition that causes inflammation of blood vessels. And there's a variety of diseases that can do that. Most of them are autoimmune, which means it's your own body's immune system that are attacking these blood vessels. And really in all the cases of vasculitis, it's, it can be pretty severe, um, even life-threatening in some cases. And how do you treat it? Um, well, it, it depends a bit on the underlying cause, but for many of the um, immune uh, autoimmune causes, you're going to use immune suppressing therapy. So that includes things um, like steroids, prednisone, um, and some more potent immune suppressing therapies. There's something called cyclophosphamide or cytoxan and a variety of other therapies, uh, many of which are going to be needed, need to be given intravenously. You can almost think of it like how cancer gets treated, you know, very potent drugs given intravenously to suppress the immune system and calm down the inflammation. And are there symptoms with this that are ongoing? There, there can be. Um, the good news is that with prompt effective therapy, most people with vasculitis do go into remission and many of them stay in remission for their entire lives, but it can do some damage. It can damage nerves and muscles and things like that. Again, depending on the type of vasculitis, which can lead to long lasting symptoms. Um, I, I, you know, don't know, obviously, the details of, of Ashton Kutcher's uh, case. You know, all I can see is that it seems like he's doing very well right now. And we're, of course, thankful for that. Well, thank you for breaking that down and kind of giving us a glimpse of, of what it would be like symptom wise. Dr. Perry Wilson, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sure.